acknowledge and also to understand that global warming was not just the latest environmental fad. So my talks would generally start with this man, uh, John Tyndall, who in the 1850s first established the concept of a greenhouse gas. That is to say, he showed that certain gases, namely carbon dioxide, water, and some others, have this property of being essentially transparent to visible light, but relatively opaque to infrared. And so therefore, water and carbon dioxide warm the planet, warm our planet, which would otherwise be much, much colder than it is if it were not for carbon dioxide and water in the atmosphere. The first person to recognize that greenhouse gases from burning fossil fuels could have an impact on the Earth's climate was this man, Sponti Arrhenius, who first suggested in the early 1900s that Greenhouse gases from burning coal could warm the planet. The question is how much warming can a little bit of extra CO2 in the atmosphere cause? party of the year. You know, the, the worst thing that happened there was they ran out of caviar. Now, thank you all for coming to the White House today and for coming together around what I considered to be a historic agreement to help America break its dependence on oil, reduce harmful pollution, and begin the transition to a clean energy economy. Uh, this is an extraordinary gathering. Uh, here we have today, standing behind me, along with uh, Ron Gettelfinger uh, and leadership of the UAW. We have 10 of the world's largest auto manufacturers. We have environmental advocates, uh, as well as elected officials from all across the country. And this gathering is all the more extraordinary for what these diverse groups, despite disparate interests and previous disagreements, have worked together to achieve. For the first time in history, we have set in motion a national policy aimed at both increasing gas mileage and decreasing greenhouse gas pollution for all new trucks and cars sold in the United States of America. 